Yes. Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, we just completed the mind map for the complete project management professional uh, learning that we did in the last two weeks. I'm going to start with the first topic, which is fundamentals. Under fundamentals, we talk about the organizational project management. We also discuss about operations. Then we discussed about three types of organizations. We also, uh, you know, discussed about the organizational process assets. Under fundamentals, the main part was related to the projects. For projects, we need to have, you know, have clarity about the assessment. Why do why are we doing that project, which helps us in creating business case and business management plan. Once we are done with the need assessment thing, we have to have uh, understand the five process groups, which is initiation, uh, planning, execution, monitor, and control, and then it goes to closure phase. There are six leadership styles, which we discussed under the, the fundamental phase. There are three life cycles involved, which can be identified using the CHC diagram. Predictive waterfall, change driven are further divided into three incremental, iterative, and agile, and then hybrid, which is a combination of agile and waterfall. That's pretty much it for the fundamentals part. Now I'm going to move to the stakeholders part. Just under stakeholders initiation part, we have to identify the stakeholders. In order to identify the stakeholders, we can use either power interest metrics, direction of influence salience or 3D model. There is another technique called Q. And finally, then we have a stakeholder register in place. Under planning phase, we have to, you have plan stakeholder management. Under execution phase, uh, we have managed stakeholder engagement. And then under monitor and control, we monitor stakeholder engagements. engagements. The third topic for the PMP is communication. There are four R's, right people, right time, and you have details. Uh, under communication, we uh, you know, create communication management plan. Under communication management plan, there are a few details that we need to you know, be self-aware about that types of communication and modes of communication. There are seven C's of communication. Under managed communication, we have project management information system, and then an engagement assessment plan is there, which falls under communication. That sums up for the communication part. Now here comes the interesting part, which is Agile or Scrum. There are four values of Agile, 12 principles of Agile, Basic concepts of Agile, that means either it is a time box or continuous process. Under Agile, we have that one important piece of information by Scrum. Scrum. There are three roles, product owner, Scrum master, or development team. There are three documents, product backlog, sprint backlog, product increment. There are five events associated under Scrum. Sprint, sprint planning, daily standup, sprint review, and then a sprint retrospect retrospective. Under sprint re retrospective, it further you know breaks down into five stages. The next topic we have is teams resources. There are four types of resources, but we are you know mainly focused on Zoom with the teams and resource topic. There are four types of resources, and we are mainly concerned about men powered resources or you know uh, physical resources men. Uh, un, under teams or resources or stages, we can use Tuckman ladder. There are five stages, forming, storming, norming, performing, adjourning. It goes in the same order that I have here written. There are five theories of motivation, Maslow's theory, McGregor's theory, expectancy theory, McLean's theory, Herzberg's theory. Under teams and resources, if there is a conflict, we need to identify the conflict. And if that happens, then we have to, you know, refer to the conflict management document. 
and the level of conflict there are five stages of conflict the next topic under project management professional is the risk topic under risk we do the risk management planning once that is done there is that document which is called risk register under risk register we prioritize risk there are prioritized risk there are positive risk and there are negative risk once we have the document completed we just need to monitor and control the risk management plan and i'll now ask my other team member vivek who will explain you about the quality and the other topics yeah sure thanks um, ali and uh, in quality we have uh, cost of quality we discussed about it and then the quality management plan uh, we did see about the implementation uh, where it had manage quality and quality assurance the tools and techniques uh, we had discussed about pareto sampling flow chart sipoc dox and histogram and in case if there is any problems that happens in the quality we discussed about the two diagrams that we frequently use affinity and then the scatter diagram we discussed about the benchmarking concept and, and then uh, yeah, that's pretty much it and next one is on the procurement we had we discussed about make or buy analysis and then the source of selection and we had uh, discussed about scope is fixed or variable there are if it is fixed we discussed about the fixed price contract fixed price incentive contract economic price adjustment and if it is variable we discussed about cost reimbursement plus fixed fee and then uh, reimbursement cost reimbursement plus fixed fee plus incentive fee and then cost reimbursement plus fixed fee plus award fee discussed about time and material and then uh, on the procurement state of work uh, we discussed about the nine types one is a request for information request for quotation request for proposal independent estimates bidder conference submit proposal and negotiation and then we discussed about manage control uh, yeah those are the things that came under procurement and under scope uh, there are two documents uh, so for this we didn't have uh, detailed uh, notes as such we just uh, brainstormed and uh, typed in whatever that we we got to know about it get requirement from product and under product requirement we discussed about the scope filter what about the process on it as a project project scope statement and then work breakdown structure and in work breakdown structure we discussed about the hierarchy which had content control account planning and then work package code account and then dictionary we discussed about scope baseline where we had wbs and project scope statement and then we talked about scope creep cold plating monitor and control and deliverable it had goes to quality if it is approved it is a verified deliverable if it is rejected then it it, it is on the change management for the quality of management plan yeah that's pretty much on the procurement uh, and schedule we discussed about the schedule management plan we discussed about dependability the four techniques that we had and then the three point estimation we discussed about float we discussed about the compressed schedule which had crashing and fast tracking we discussed about resource optimization leveling and smoothing and on the cost we discussed about the planning which had three segments plan cost management estimate cost and data mine budget um and monitoring and controlling uh, which had project budget governance earn values plan values and cost performance index and on the business environment we talked about business management plan the governance board uh, the different phases that we have got on the compliance reporting compliance requirements and categories that we had and finally on the integration we discussed about the project closing the the methods that is involved in closing a project check if deliverables are accepted if the sponsor accepts the closure report start updating the lessons learned repository share the final update with all the stakeholders start admin closure release the team and uh, archive the documents and finally celebrate the success very well done team very well done round of applause for the team this is very and good. we have to thank ali birani here he he helped in preparing the whole thing <laughs> he spent a long time yeah. in preparing the whole content thank well you so much very well done team so this was a very well planned and done within the schedule i would say there is no cost involved so i'm going to say it within the schedule you guys did it very well done team 2 thank you team 1 so team 2 would you like to start and share 
Hello, yes. Uh, so I'll be presenting uh, for team two and uh, Prem and myself. Let me share my screen. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so we'll discuss uh, for the project manage management basics. We have uh, 13, uh, 13 things, uh, 13 uh, sub, uh, we discuss about the, uh, about the fundamentals. We had uh, constraints, we have uh, uh, cost, time and scope. We have business value, uh, which can be tangible and non-tangible. We have uh, PMO uh, supply uh, contract and uh, uh, direct. We had uh, need assessment, uh, benefit management plan, a business case, uh, business plan and business case. We had uh, specific uh, measurements method, uh, ROI, IRR, uh, 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 time value of money. We had uh, project charter, uh, measurable project objectives, high level. Uh, High level requirements, project risk, uh, project uh, uh, management, uh, uh, reach uh, consensus, uh, uh, integration plan execution. Uh, we had uh, leadership style, transformational, servant, charismatic, and uh, uh, inter interactional. Uh, then uh, we had uh, stakeholders. In stakeholders, we uh, identify uh, uh, stakeholder prioritize. Uh, we had a stakeholder register. And then we had a stakeholder engagement plan. And we had stakeholder matrix. We have uh, engagement matrix, uh, classification of stakeholders. We had uh, how to manage stakeholders. Uh, then we had four values, uh, individual and their interaction. Uh, over processes and tools, customer collaborations over contract negotiation, uh, responding to change over plan, uh, working software over comprehensive uh, documentation. Uh, uh, then in, uh, sorry, in Agile, we had uh, 12 principles. Uh, uh, we had concept planning uh, methodology. Uh, we have uh, Scrum, we had uh, framework, uh, we had, uh, 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 Noman, uh, you want to do the Scrum? Uh, yeah, sure, I can do the Scrum. It's part of the yes, agile. Please. So basically, yes, Scrum is yeah okay. So uh, basically, let me just start with Scrum. Scrum is a framework of agile in which there are three major components: the roles, documents, and events. In the roles, we have we have further divided into project owner, Scrum master, which is also called the project manager, and the development team. Team. So it is the product owner's job to visit the customer and uh, collect all the user stories. And it's Scrum Master is basically a servant leader. He's there to assist the team and uh, take, take care of their needs. It is entirely upon the development team to determine the team velocity, to determine uh, what they're going to do and how they're going to do, do it. In the documents, we have the product backlog in which all the user stories are there. Then we have the sprint backlog, which is selected by the development team in, in which they decide what uh, user stories they're going to take care in, a, in one sprint. And then we have the product increment. Product increment is basically uh, the user stories that are accepted in the sprint backlog. Then we have different events uh, events of, uh, of uh, sprint. The first is we usually define the sprint. The duration of the sprint is usually between one to four weeks, usually for two weeks. Then we plan the sprint in which we uh, determine the sprint backlog. Then we have the daily standups in which three basic questions are asked. What did you do yesterday? What you're going to do today? And if there are any impediments, then at the end of this uh, the sprint, there is a sprint review meeting in which the customers and the product owner are called for feedback mm -hmm. and acceptance of the of the user stories. And after that, we have the and if they are accepted, then they uh, they are accepted as a deliverable. And if they are rejected, then they go back into the product pack. Then we have the sprint retrospective in which uh, the lessons learned are discussed. And that is what we use for what we discussed in Scrum. You want me to explain risk as well? Yes, please. Okay. 
so uh, the main processes of uh, stages of risks in the in the planning stage of the project we, we identify the risk and put identify and classify the risk and put them in the risk register then we plan the risk uh, then we make the response plan against those those uh, risk uh, or against those risk and determine the risk owners then we do carry out the qualitative analysis on the risks first and if there are uh, and then and if that is not enough then we move towards the quantitative analysis in which we determine which we add the values the uh, numerical values to the risks in the execution phase we uh, we implement the risk response plan in cases in case of uh, risks in in case that the risk occurs and then further if the, uh, after the response of a risk we have the residual risks in which uh, a minimum acceptable risk is there and then if there is a secondary risk then we cater for that and in the monitoring and control risk we ident uh, we anticipate we look up we look ahead for the risk and uh, see if we are planned against those risks and then there was an important part in which uh, there was the difference between risk and issue risk is basically something in the future and issue is something that has already happened or isn't uh prem you want to do quality or Hello. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. No problem. Okay. Okay. In quality, we have planning. Uh, we have planning, execution, and uh, monitoring and control and output. Uh, in the planning, we have input. We have a project uh, project charter. We have a project management plan. We have uh, project documents. We have enterprise uh, environment uh, factors. We have uh, orga organizational process uh, assets. Uh, uh, and the tools and techniques, we, we gather the data, we do the brainstormings, we get the ju uh, experts' judgment, we analyze the data using uh, uh, Pareto principle and histogram, we have cost-benefit analysis, uh, we have a test and uh, inspection, uh, we have other uh, check uh, like checklist, uh, ch uh, check sheet, control chart, uh, then in uh, execution, we uh, uh, manage the quality. We have a sampling and a threshold. Uh, we have uh, tools and technique uh, uh, discuss in the planning. Uh, we have uh, standards or governing authorities uh, like uh, ISO, uh, uh, manage, manage and control, uh, control uh, inputs, tools and techniques we use and, uh, and, and uh, uh, Cost price index, uh, sorry, control price index index CPI. Uh, uh, then we had quality control measures, and uh, uh, if there is uh, some changes, then we have a change request. Okay, then we have uh, scope. Uh, in scope, uh, we require the documents. Uh, what type of scope is it? Functional, non-functional. Uh, a transition or uh, uh, then we have uh, required uh, we have uh, we have requirement traceability metrics uh, st uh, status status uh, who provided and cost of uh, cost of requirement uh, then uh, we have uh, uh, deliverables uh, scope baseline then we have uh, work breakdown structure uh, we have control account we have a planning package work package uh, work a uh, work breakdown uh, work breakdown uh, we have a pro dictionary uh, a dictionary work breakdown dictionary yes point okay uh, we have uh, project scope statement we have change control procedure and then we had uh, scope creep uh, uh, addition without going to the control board uh, by the uh, by the customer then we had gold plating uh, Project manager delivers more than the agreed scope. And then we validate the scope according to the agreed uh, scope baseline. Uh, deliver, uh, deliverable goes to the quality control. Uh, uh, accepted, then verified and delivered. Rejected, then goes back to the process and change request is raised. Okay, uh, a schedule frame, uh, maybe you can do it. Hello. Do you want me to do it? Uh, yes, please. Mr. Oh, can you increase the size? I can't mm -hmm. see yeah. Five minutes. Yeah, sure. 
okay. So we have work uh, uh, for schedule. We have these uh, WBSs, control account, work packages, and planning uh, these packages. We have dependencies uh, where we have mandatory and uh, discretionary dependencies, uh, relationships. Uh, we have uh, fail, 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 success, success, fail. Finish to finish. Finish to finish. Finish sorry, to start. Sorry. To finish start to finish. finish. Finish to start. Uh, right. Start to finish and start to start. Then we have techniques of estimation, analogous, parametric, bottom up, and three point, and then BERT. Cra then we have crashing and uh, fast tracking. Then we have resource leveling versus smoothing. And then we have monitoring via EVM. Okay. Um, let's go to cost. Okay, you want to go to business environment first? Okay. Types Please. of, okay, cost. The, uh, the uh, cost plan uh, entails cost estimation. One is the rough uh, costing, then there's definitive costing, and there's uh, uh, analogous and bottom-up cost estimation. Then there's project budget, which, we have cost baselines and control the account through contingency reserve, work package, activity, um, and uh, management reserve. We have monitor and control, which is through EVM and uh, let's get into business environment now. Okay, um, governance board, project phases, we have compliance, variance analysis, escalation process, audit, we measure project compliance, net promoter score, A-B testing, continuous improvements, continuous, uh, continuous, uh, continuous improvement tools, and then implementation. Can you go up so that we can do integration as well? Yes, please. Okay, okay. Well, we've got product, project, project. Uh, we've got change management system and then uh, project management uh, information system and configuration management system in this. And procurement, we've just got two things, source selection criteria and quality specification. There's one left. Last two minutes, guys. Okay. So, okay, there's one procurement. We've got inputs, make or buy analysis, source selection criteria. We've got the type of contracts and uh, FFPC, F, FPF, EPA, CRFF, CRAF, time and material. We've got manage control, single or sole source, statement of work and criteria plan, manage, control, procurement. And then closing, I think we haven't done the closing yet. Uh, the teams. Okay. Teams also. Go ahead, uh, you do it. Uh, okay, teams, we have uh, four types of resources, manpower, machinery, money, material, uh, stages of teams, stuckman ladder, forming, storming, uh, uh, forming, storming, norming, and uh, 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 okay, uh, informing uh, team charter and adjourning, informing team charter, Maslow uh, theory X and Y expectancy theory, machine theory, Herzberg theory. Uh, then in norming, we have performing and uh, adjourning. Okay, uh, conflict management, we have win win collaboration, win lose, uh, direct enforcing, we have lose lose, avoid or withdraw, we have lose win accommodate and smoothing. Uh, resource evaluation, RAM, RACI, resource calendar, organizational management, and KPI smart. Also, so we have communication. Okay, uh, communication, we have uh, four R, right information, right people, right time, right impact. We have communication method, push, pull, or interactive. 
we had communication management plan types, frequency, uh, resp uh, response, stakeholders, notes. We have seven C's, clear, concise, concrete, coherent, correct, courteous, uh, courteous, uh, courteous uh, complete communication model, sender, receiver, feedback, noise, medium, a mode of communication, verbal, written, formal, informal, information radiators, backlog, dashboards, uh, visible charts, uh, lesson learned uh, repository, lesson learned register, monitoring communication, diversify. I think. Are you done? Yeah. Any topic left? Uh, I think we are done. Are no, no talk. And your time is also done. Very well done, yes. team two, and very well crafted, very well detailed, very well managed, and uh, 30 seconds above time, but that was very good. Well done. Team two. Very well offered. Okay. Last team, team three, please. So let me share the screen. Before we start, we would like to share that we won't be able to complete all the topics. Okay, whatever you, whatever. Yes. Is. So let us start with the fundamentals. In fundamentals, we have business environment, organization, project management. We have business case. Then into business case, we have uh, uh, the charter, key stakeholders, high level plan, high level budget, uh, benefit management plan. We have benefit management methods, IRR, ROI, uh, benefit cost ratio. We have time value of money, which is NPV, opportunity cost. In business value, we have tangible and intangible. Organizational uh, project management, we have a strategy, portfolio, programs, and projects. Then in business environment, we have internal and external uh, factors, which are EEF, OPN, PMIS, and EEF, we have PESTEL. Uh, then we go further into the uh, organizational structure. We have PMO. In the PMO, PMO can be con controlling, directive, and supportive. Uh, further into the organizational structure, we have metrics organization, which can be weak, balanced, and strong. And the last uh, organizational structure is functional. Uh, in terms of leadership, we have servant leader, uh, autocratic, uh, transactional, transformational, prismatic, and interactional. For the process groups, we have initiation, planning, execution, monitor, and control, plus close out. Then we have uh, constraints, and the project life cycle is predictive, uh, iterative, agile, and incremental. The next topic of the the PMP is stakeholders and the stakeholder register. We have ident uh, initially identification. Uh, for the identification, we can go to sponsor or the focus groups. Then we have EEF. In the EEF, we have political awareness, economical situation, social, technology, legal, and environmental. Then we go for the expert judgment, OPN, lesson learned for the identification of the stakeholders. In the classification for the classification of the stakeholders, uh, we use interest power good, which is like high power, high interest, low power, high interest, low power, low interest, and high power, low interest. And there are some definition like manage closely, keep informed, monitor, and keep satisfied. For the uh, another way of doing a cl classification is a stakeholder cube, which is power, interest, and attitude uh, geography, which is a third or y-axis for the stakeholder cube and salience model. We have urgency, legitimacy, and power. And then uh, in the stakeholder register, we do the assessment as well. Uh, then we have influence metrics, uh, which is like upward, who are you reporting to, downward, outward, and sideways. Sideways, which are usually your colleagues. A stakeholder engagement metric, uh, metrics, uh, in, in stakeholder um, engagement plan, you create a stakeholder engagement matrix, which you are looking for the current, current to desired situation, and then you work towards them in the metrics. Then you have communication requirements, information to be distributed, frequency for the required information to be distributed to the stakeholders, stakeholder plan refinement, updating methods. Then we have manage the stakeholder and monitor the stakeholder management in the monitoring phase. We kept uh, different files for the sake of like easy maneuvering. Then we have uh, communication management. In the communication, we have planning. And under planning, we have plan communication management. So if we go into plan communication management, we have defined meeting types, which is formal or informal. We have written formal, verbal, formal, informal, 
uh, written and informal verbal. So emails as per PMI, they are unofficial. We have to keep in keep that in mind. Uh, we have planned communication owners. Then we have seven C's of communication, complete, clarity, concise, correct, courtesy, concrete, and consideration. We have uh, three methods of communication, modes of communication, basically push, pull, and interactive. And like email and text are for the push, people can collect information and pull and interactive is usually between two to three or a small group of people, which like they interact directly with one another. Then we have four uh, R of most, which is right information to the right people for the right impact at the right time. Further, if you go uh, into the modes, you will find sender, receiver, then there is a medium between the two. Any Anything due to which the information is not true, uh, is not true is called noise. And then we have active and passive listening. Active listeners are like who are paying attention, who are not just listening, sake of the listening. And the passive listeners are like, they are there, they are listening, but they are not paying any attention. Then we have some reporting formats and escalation planning. Uh, we cover a bit of agile communication here, which is communication tools, information radius, Kanban boards, and burn up, burn down charts. But for the communication, we also need to figure out uh, what type of teams we have, either physical or virtual, like how to communicate with the physical, because we need different mediums to communicate with both types of teams. Then in the execution, we have to manage the communication, which is meeting people, sending progress report, conducting meetings. And in the monitoring and control, we have monitor communication, lesson learned register, lesson learned repository. And in the monitor communication, we compare what is the different, where are we standing in terms of plan and actual and taking action. I would request Basit to uh, explain topic teams. Can you, yeah. so we, we started with the planning. So we have different styles where we have Tuckman ladder. Okay, right. So we have different types of team like manpower. Uh, this is most recommended and machinery, equipment, material, and money. Then we have identified this. We uh, identify the type of resource, the re uh, skills of levels uh, required for the resources. Check you need either physical or virtual resources. Uh, then we have a uh, Tuckman ladder where we have different stages like forming, storming, uh, norming. Uh, can you just a little bit, yeah. Uh, performing and adjourning, we have different uh, things in that. Like informing, we team is making ground rules, PM to directive. Uh, in uh, uh, yeah, in storming, uh, we have project manager which which has got emotional intelligence uh, where we have no, know yourself self-awareness manage yourself empathy uh, social in, uh, awareness uh, we uh, do a conflict stage with the directive approach to uh, to be adopted by the pm then we have stages of conflict level one level two level three level four level five level five is like uh, old bar and then we have uh, uh, in the storming phase, we have win-win situation, win loss situation, and lo loss loss and loss win situation. Then we have a normal stage, uh, team starts to give some productivity and PM should mentor the team in performing self, they are, uh, teams are self-guided and the highest performing level in our journey work is done, team will mo move to next project. Then we have different uh, techniques like uh, RACI metrics, responsibility informed and cons consult and inform. Then we have RAM, uh, responsibility assessment matrix, uh, which has got a resource calendar in which uh, all those uh, resource calendar schedules are there. Then single point of failure is bad for project. Then we have a motivational technique like Maslow hierarchy of need. There are five stages for that need, survival, love, and belonging, uh, self-esteem, and actualization. And then we have macro theory of X and Y. We, X, is not, X is like that X is not performing team, PM to mon monitor and provide good environment. Y is high performing team, uh, Mechland achieve, achievement of theory, uh, which has got power achievement affiliation. Then we have Heisenberg theory uh, that has got a hygiene agent, motivator, opportunity, growth, and appreciated. Salary is a factor. Work environment is also a factor. Then we have expect expectancy theory. Uh, then we have uh, PMI code of ethics where we have honesty, uh, fairness, respect, and responsibility. And then we have in monitoring for that. Uh, like we give trainings and coaching. We have different KPIs for the team, team development, and team performance achieve assessments. 
continues. Uh, we have uh, Agile, then we, we have types of Agile, Scrum, XP, Kanban. So in Scrum, uh, the values are like individual are more focused than process management. Custom collaboration is more given ad advantage like contract negotiation. We are responding to change uh, in, in versus a follow-up plan. Uh, working software is more required uh, than comprehensive documents and then we have different me uh, different types of uh, meetings in uh, different types of uh, agile like xp scrum uh, uh, then in scrum we have different uh, can you just yeah more yeah in, in scrum we have different types of meeting like stand up meeting sprint planning sprint review sprint retrospective we have user stories sprint backlog and product backlog we calculate the velocity of the team with the sprint velocity we have product increment uh, we, have, we have product increment after the uh, sprint review we have different types of team in scrum like product owner scrum master development team we have te technique techniques different techniques for sprint planning like uh, pointing book work shift citing first of five uh, we have different uh, uh, checklist uh, or artifacts uh, which uh, we have like definition of done without the definition of done we don't uh, allow a story to be closed this definition of ready where uh, a story is ready with those acceptance criteria we have acceptance criteria criteria where acceptance criteria are those things which are uh, like uh, uh, the pointers for the stories uh, we have different information radiation for the team like task board kanban board uh, data representative representation analysis we have burn up chart amount of work uh, which is uh, left and burn down chart which is uh, burn up chart is like amount of chart completed burn down chart is amount of uh, task is completed uh, we have uh, we have 12 principles of agile uh, it's, it's got satisfy customer uh, deliver frequently, work together, trust and support, face-to-face uh, -face conversation, working software, sustainable development, continuous attention, maintain simplicity, self-organizing team, reflect and adjust. Uh, basic uh, agile concept is like it's time box and prioritization is uh, more important in this. We, we, we basically believe in team collaboration, risk is reduced. Uh, then we have uh, lean project agile uh, project management, which uh, which uh, re revolves around eliminate uh, it eliminate waste, empower team, and deliver fast. We have different techniques like wide band Del Delphi for uh, like anonymously asking story points. We have Cano model, which uh, you know, uh, uh, which which uh, revolves around the customer satisfaction. We have different types of approach like uh, uh, Scrum. Uh, so we have TDD also, which uh, like is testing first, then development. Then we have FDD, where we have feature-driven de development. Uh, the Kanban technique, uh, which revolves around the it identify the bottleneck, limit work in progress at any time, decrease work in progress at any time to increase the productivity of the team. We have uh, at last we have most viable product, which uh, goes to the increment. So uh, can we ask Ab Agile. The Abdullah for for the last uh, risk management? Yeah. yeah. So we will discuss, uh, discuss the, <coughs> the risk. First, we have the risk management plan. Please go up. Yeah, first we will identify the risk and when we identify the risk, we will uh, prepare the risk register, which uh, includes a risk plan, uh, qualitative uh, risk plan, which has the low, medium and high. Further in further analysis, we have the uh, quantitative analysis, which have the tornado diagram, Monte Carlo analysis, influence flood diagram, expected monitoring value, decision tree, uh, such as the multiple options and sensitive analysis. Yeah, in, and in plan, we, uh, we prepare the plan risk response. With uh, the three types of uh, risk response, uh, risk is uh, seeker, risk uh, averse, and natural. Come down. And, uh, in contingency plan and positive, we, uh, we escalate. We escalate, exploit, share, enhance, and uh, accept. And in negative, we, uh, we escalate, avoid, mitigate, transfer, and uh, yeah, yeah, and accept the risk.
in, mon in monitoring we have the different techniques as, such as RCA, risk review, risk report and audit and risk response. In RCA we have example for as a fish bond and in risk response we have two types, uh, residential, uh, residual and secondary. So, uh, Amar, this is what we were able to do. We were trying to go to the Whatever you did was a very good effort and very well done. Very good. So, guys, 